Why is it doing that on my eye? Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. Today's video is going to be prepping for London. So I'm going away this weekend for my cousin's birthday. These two are staying at home together. I'm going to miss you. Um, so I thought I'd do like a little, sorry, pack with me slash get ready with me. Um, so plan for today is uh, I'm going for my haircut. I want something a little bit different. Um, I feel like my hair is just like one big lump. It's quite thick, so I'm wanting to get like a little bit of a fringe cut in. Not like a fringe, like a, you know, swishy pieces each side. Anyway, so I've, I've been having a nightmare trying to order some outfits for this weekend. It's been a workout, not going to lie. I've ordered about three different outfits and they were all vile, so I sent them all back. Um, I was making a lot of noise. <laughs> so anyway, I've just, I ordered last night, last minute, I go tomorrow. Um to get some leather look leggings. So these are the ones I've got. Um, the mirror's so small, sorry. But I absolutely love them. Um, sorry, I've got no socks on or anything. But these are so nice, these are from Lipsy. Um, so I got them from their next website. I ordered two sizes, one size has already come and then the other size is gonna come later, but this one fits nicely, so I'll just send the other one straight back. So I thought they'd be nicer, look a bit more dressier than just what I was originally gonna wear. Then I've got a nice little dress for Saturday night, nothing like too dressy, it's like literally like a um, like a long sleeve black dress. Um, but yeah, I just thought I'd bring you all along. I won't take you to my hair cutting, I'll just probably show you afterwards. Um, but yeah, I've got, <laughs> I've got lots to do really, I've got to pack Jesse a little bag because obviously Jimmy's working tomorrow. <laughs> what are you doing to him? Jimmy, what is that filter? <laughs> it's not focusing on him. <laughs> Jimmy! Oh my god! <laughs> Let me have a look. <laughs> Wait. Oh, that's nasty. So, yeah, um, I've got to pack Jesse a little bag because obviously Jimmy's working tomorrow, so he's going um, to stay with family. Um, and then I need to pack for myself, try and make it as like condensed as possible um, and then I just what am I wanting to do I want to make sure I hate getting up in the morning when I'm going somewhere and everything being a mess because I always guarantee I'll forget something so tonight I want to make sure I've got everything set out all nice and neat because I'm going quite early -ish tomorrow um, well I say early -ish. I need to be up early because I'm doing my makeup for once <laughs> so um, uh, yeah we're meeting at half past nine in the morning and then we're going for some breakfast i am going to vlog everything so this will be a separate vlog to this one this is just like me getting ready um but yeah i just thought i'd uh, bring you along and let you pack with me so on friday night we're going golfing like it's called swingers golf it's like um a bit like just, junkyard just for swingers no it's not for swingers i did check <laughs> It's a bit like junkyard golf golf thing, you know, like where you're going, you can have the cocktails and everything. So I'm thinking just something casual. So I'm thinking just this like H&M jumper that I've got with these leggings and either boots or Converse. And then I've got like a little body warmer for Saturday through the day. In fact, I'll show you all this later when I'm packing them. I can pick it up and show you what I'm going to be wearing. Uh, but yeah, let's crack on. So yeah. I'm just doing my skincare. Um, I've been doing really well keeping up with it to be honest. My New Year's resolution was that I wanted to look after myself a little bit more. Um, my skin was getting like really really bad. And I did a big order on Look Fantastic and Cult Beauty and I'm not going to lie at first I was a bit like oh my god what have I done because my old skincare was amazing um, but I did want to try just something new and it wasn't doing as good of a job as my old skincare was doing but now I can really start to see a difference. Um, I think I'm going to do maybe a light little TikTok on it about what I'm using. I'm still getting a lot of scarring here. So this is not actually spots, this is just scarring. Um, so I think I'm going to try the Glow Hub Scar Slayer, see if that does anything. Um, but yeah, I've got... I'm glad my skin's in a bit of a better shape for London this weekend so I can actually possibly look half decent um, whilst I've got makeup on. Um, so yeah, I'm so excited for my hair cutting. I've not had my hair cut since I've had it's not having it cut in a year. I've still not I'm still not having it coloured. I've not had it coloured since December 2020. So that's a long time ago because obviously 
I had it done in December 2020 and then I fell pregnant January 2021 and obviously it's not recommended that you have your hair dyed whilst pregnant and then obviously I've just not had a chance to actually go and get it coloured. It does take about four hours for my hair. Um, so I'm just going for it cut today and I'm just going to maybe treat myself after London to a colour at some point because it does need doing. Um, so yeah, I love my hair lady. She is the best ever she's I, I genuinely won't go anywhere else apart from her um she's absolutely unreal so yeah just doing my skincare now jimmy's just making some breakfast i'm gonna try and crack on oh, i don't know what to do i don't know where to start does anyone else feel like that when they pack i don't know where to start because obviously i'm gonna need my makeup in the morning so i need that out can't pack that deodorants and everything this is the stuff that i forget the most because obviously i'm going to be using my deodorant my toothpaste toothbrush in the morning and then i feel like i always forget to pack it because i'm using it so I think I might make a list, a checklist. Um, I always try and make mental notes in my head and then I always forget them. <laughs> so I think I might make a list on my phone of things that I need. Um, I've tried to like do an outfit for each day so I'm not like taking loads of bits that I'm not going to be wearing. So I have got like an outfit planned for each day. I need to cut my eyelashes down, ready, um, just so I'm not faffing about. I've got two pairs. I've got um, Paris by the Prime, uh, is it? so so these are unreal these are my favorite lashes ever but some this is i used to wear these like when i was a bit younger when i used to go out like on nights out and these were obviously really good because i liked the full you know glam um but i have got some like fluttery ones as well these are isla number 17 no number 117 light and wispy and i'm just thinking these might just be a little bit better but i'm gonna cut them both down and take both with me and obviously just try and stick them on and see which one's gonna be best i've tried to put my makeup to one side that i'm gonna be taking oh i don't even know what i'm gonna pack in to be honest i don't think my suitcase is big enough but i don't want to take like a massive suitcase I'm going to have a tangent now. I just love talking to you all. I'm so bad for it. This is why my videos always end up like half an hour, 40 minutes long because I like talking to you all. I don't know why. It's just nice. So, yeah. Um, I'll show you what my hair looks like now. So, I don't know if you can really see, but this is my hair at the minute. So, I brought it all to the front so you can see. Let me move back a little bit so you can see it all. So this is my hair at the minute. Um, I did have some layers put in the fur when I had it cut last year, um, but it has grown out a little bit. Um, I'm wanting these front bits like up to here, you know, so I can like flip them back. Cause just cause I think it makes it look a little bit. I don't know. It's just it's so thick, and it's just like one big like lump of hair. Like look at all that. Um, it's it's not in the worst condition ever. I mean, it is a little bit dry and looks a little bit like straw. So, um, but yeah, I'll I'll sort that out another time. Let me just get my skin out of the way first, and then I'll go on to my hair. Um, so yeah, I just saw I'll get it nice and cut before we go to London. Um, so then I don't have to try and mess about with it as much. So yeah, I think breakfast is ready. So I'm gonna go and get breakfast, and then I'm gonna crack on. Right, so I brought pretty much everything down that I think I'm going to need. I've either got this suitcase or this, like, travel bag. I'm thinking more suitcase just because with the travel bag, I seem to, like, rip everything out. And then everything ends up everywhere, whereas the suitcase seems to be more organised. So I think I'm going to try and fit everything in there. What I'm trying to do is, is trying to, like, reuse more than one item of clothing without wearing the same thing. Um, and I know that might sound weird. I'm going to try and keep them clean as much as possible. You'll know what I mean when I tell you, but um, I just don't want everything to be like really bulky and everything like that. So I'm trying to like reuse like a top on Friday and Sunday, even though that sounds really dirty, but it's not, trust me. <laughs> um, so yeah, let me show you. This is my idea for Saturday throughout the day. So, oh, I'm zooming in without realizing. So I've got the little leggings with this like top turtleneck and this blazer um, with either boots or converse. So I think Saturday throughout the day, to be honest, I have no idea what we're doing, <laughs> uh, but it's London. So I wanted to try and look nice. So um, I'm wearing that. Oh, and then the dress for Saturday night. I'm not sure what I've done with that. I think it might be on here. Um, so this is what I'm wearing Saturday throughout the day. Then Sunday, I'm going to wear um oh let me think 
that top with this jumper on top see I'm reusing I'm reusing please don't think I'm dirty for doing this guys I'm sure most of you will understand that you just don't want to take like loads of stuff with you with this jumper on top and uh, maybe some jeans because then that'll mean I've wore the leather look like in three days in a row and I don't really want to do that so I might take my jeans with me for that yes I will I've just washed them they're on the washing line I've got two pairs of pajamas I've got like a nighty and then um, like some bottoms and a top so I'll put that in this pile here I've got my travelling outfit which is just these leggings um, a jumper a little bralette that to tuck in to these because these fall down so that's going to be my travelling outfit with a body warmer I've got about 10 pairs of pants just because I always get so worried that something's going to happen God knows what and I'm going to need more so I've packed like loads of pants just in case I've got some bras I've got some new deodorant and shower gel I just need the black dress from upstairs um, to pack and I'm going to try and get it all in to that bag the thing over there just ignore all the rubbish down there the blue bin is like totally rammed and we can't fit any more cardboard in it so yeah I think now I'm going to write a list on my phone to make sure that I've got everything so I can visualise it I'm a very much visual person I like to see things as opposed to like mentally think them um, so I like to see like a checklist I like to see stuff spread out so I know what I've got there's nothing worse than when you don't know what you've got <laughs> so I'm going to make a little list now made my little list and I'll just add to it as um, we go on so I've just like wrote each day out what I'm wearing each day so I can have a look and see if I've got everything I need main thing I need to remember is I've spelt that wrong but jewellery because I always seem to forget jewellery I think we went out the other night we went the other night it was like last week and I forgot to put all my jewellery on and I just don't really feel like me without all my jewellery on when I go out so yeah I need to remember that but I think I do need to nip somewhere and go and get some I'm wanting some like dangly earrings I think oh I'm not sure I don't know I don't know I just feel like I need to up the jewellery game a little bit with um, a dress I'm going to be wearing I need to go and get that dress actually I think it's upstairs and I need to get some new tights as well because the tights I've got are a bit small and I like I like to be comfy so I don't think everything's going to fit in there because I need to pack my boots as well oh. so I might have to take the suitcase and the bag and like wrap the bag on top of the suitcase and then like pull the suitcase with the bag on I'm just thinking out loud here anyway I need to get packed because I need to set off for my hair in 40 minutes so I need to go I'm gonna miss this little one so much I did actually feel like crying a little bit last night <laughs> I was just looking at him this is the first time I've left him overnight I know it's only for two nights but I'm gonna miss him so much I've been up with him apart from maybe one night one or two nights he slept through but since he was born I've been up with him in the night so I just feel like I'm gonna have a little part of me missing when I wake up on it more because I think my body's just used to like waking up at like three o'clock now um so I feel like I'm gonna be a bit lost when I wake up in hotel room and he's not gonna be there with me but it's gonna be with his dad so he'll be fine he's gonna have a boys weekend aren't you you're gonna have a boys weekend yeah <laughs> Yeah, I'm not sure if I'm liking my outfit for Friday night with the jumper. I think I'm going to try and find something different. The amount of clothes I've got in my wardrobe is a joke. And I literally wear about two things from it. Does anyone else? The same, because look at all that. What on earth? I literally wear two pieces of that. Not even kidding. Um, yeah, it's a bit of a mess. And I've sold some stuff as well. So I need to get that sorted. I don't know what else I can wear though because I don't want to wear like a dress or something because it's, I feel like it's going to be cold obviously we're getting the tube and everything it's going to be cold down there so I need something that's nice but casual at the same time and I've just not really got anything like that unless I wear another blazer but then I'm wearing a blazer Friday night and Saturday because I have got another nice another blazer this one let me show it you I've got this one this is River Island as well however this one has got a tie on it so you can tie it at the front. So I might wear leather look leggings with this turtleneck with that blazer tied 
tired at the front and then it might look a little bit different to Saturday. Mm, I don't know. I just feel like blazers are just so nice and easy to throw on and just make any outfit look nice. So I think I might go for that. But then I don't want to look too blazery. Who's going to be bothered? Why am I even thinking about that? No one's going to think, oh my gosh, she's wore two blazers in, in a day, in, in two days. In a day, in day after each other. <laughs> so I think I might do that because they are different blazers anyway. You know what, I'm just going to do it because I love that blazer. I've not worn it in ages. So I'm going to do, I'm going to go for that. I'm going to go for these two with the leather look leggings and some boots. Yeah, this is going to be my Friday night outfit. So the leather look leggings, that turtleneck and this blazer, but I'm going to tie it at the front there just so it looks a little bit different to that blazer that I'm going to be wearing on the Saturday. Lots of blazers. So now I need to change my checklist because it's wrong. I've put the jumper on. Um, yeah, I think that'll be a bit better. Just I didn't feel too... I don't know. I do like that jumper, but I wanted something a little bit more spicier you know what I mean. <laughs> I've also just realised I forgot to add skincare onto my list so I need to do that. Um, that's a big one I can't miss out on. I'm going to do um, a little skin, what's it called? A little skin pamper tonight. I'm not going to use a mask, I'm going to use, um, I don't know where I've put it actually. It's from Temple Spire, it's called Most Revealing and it's like a foaming, I don't know the word for it. It's like a mask but it's not. It like bubbles up and it's got like a certain acid in it um, and my skin just looks amazing after it. You're not supposed to use it all the time. So I'm going to use it tonight I think and then I won't use my Paula's Choice because that's got an acid in it and you can't really use them together. So I'm going to use that instead of my Paula's Choice and hopefully my skin will look all nice for this weekend. Um, Oh, another thing I need to do when I go out to do my hair, I've got ASOS parcel to return because I also I told you earlier I ordered all those clothes, didn't like them, so they need to go back. That's another job I need to do before I leave tomorrow. And then I need to pack Jesse's bag. So if I sort my stuff out now, then I've got time to pack Jesse's stuff and make sure he's got everything he needs for tomorrow whilst Jimmy's at work. Yeah. I'm back from my hair. I absolutely love it. It's going to take some getting used to because I'm used to having um, a middle part and obviously, sorry, I'm used to having a side part and this is middle. So I've got the fringe like cut in here. Um, so much better. I just think I just look a bit more put together now as opposed to just having like scrangly dead hair. So still not had it coloured yet. Um, I need to find some time to go and get it coloured. So Chantel did it for me. So if any girls in my area want an amazing hairdresser, you need to go to Chantel. Uh, I'll put her Instagram handle down below. It's, I think it's Flawless Hair by Chantel Seely. But honestly, she's done my hair for two years now, and I genuinely won't go anywhere else. So um, yeah, she's absolutely amazing. Uh, so yeah, now this is the state we're currently in. At the minute, I need to get sorted because I don't want to leave it too late. I need to get a shower and everything like that. Uh, pack Jesse's bag, who was just chilling down here. I missed him so much whilst we were gone. And I were only two hours, so God knows what I'm going to be like for two days. Um, but yeah, I think I've pretty much got everything ready now. Outfit's all sorted, hair is done and ready to go all fresh. So, yeah. Um, I'm just watching a film, to be honest. I'm just procrastinating, shock. Uh, I'm watching She's the Man, but I don't need to pack, <laughs> so I might crack on now and get some packing done. You're being noisy. <laughs> so I've just put my hair up, and I love my hair. Love it so much. Do you like it? <laughs> so yeah, time to pack now because the living room's a state because of me. So, I don't know how I'm going to do it really. I don't know what to do, whether to do it in my suitcase or the bag. I don't know if it's all going to fit in though. So I've got all my makeup and all, like shower stuff. Hmm. I think I might just pack it all up into like sections and then see what I can fit in what. I might have to have that as like a clothes bag. And then this is like toiletries bag, and then sit that on top of the suitcase. Yeah? <laughs> Jimmy's just like, leave, whatever, shut up. No, this yodel man's. Oh, Jimmy's been waiting for this yodel man all morning. Well, I hope he comes for you with your engine oil. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 
I hate you. Okay. I pretended I worked yodel, man. <laughs> Don't you actually believe me? <laughs> and you opened the door. So funny. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. Man's actually arrived now. <laughs> you weren't impressed at all then, were you? I never normally get Jimmy with stuff like that because normally he catches me out, but I actually got him that time, so I'm pretty proud of myself. I've been waiting since 8 o'clock this morning. I know he has been waiting all day for this it's parcel. It's now 4 o'clock. Anyway, right, so this side of the. What's up? What's up, Jesse boy? <laughs> Do you want your dum dum? Uh. Oh yeah, Mama. Thank you. <laughs> so this side of the suitcase is all packed with outfits ready to go. I've got some bra and pants here, and then come on, you all. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> and then um, this bag will be like my toiletries bag. So obviously. I've got some a fresh shower gel in there just because I don't want to forget one because obviously I'm going to get a shower tonight um, and I've put a fresh deodorant in there as well just because again I don't want to forget it because obviously I'm going to still be using those tomorrow morning so stuff I still need to put in there is a loofah you okay Jesse? what's up? <laughs> you're smiling away uh, I still need to put my loofah in, toothbrush and like hairbrush things like that uh, makeup's in a separate bag so I think what I'm gonna do now is get all my makeup together that I want to take put it is he here mm. I'm gonna put all my makeup to one side now that I need to take and then obviously tomorrow morning I'm gonna be doing makeup and I'll just know which bits to that I need to take with me basically so yeah I am excited, I'm looking forward to it even though I am going to miss Jessie so much. I did cry last night a little bit. Um, so, I am going to have to take the other bag. I'm going to have to put this bag on top of the suitcase because I need to take my boots and obviously all my toiletry yes. stuff isn't going to fit. <laughs> That's what he's been waiting for. Engine coolant. For his new little project. So yeah, um, makeup time now. And then the quicker I get this done, the quicker I can settle down and spend some good time with Jesse before I leave. Jesse boy. Jesse boy. So yeah. Hi guys, so it's a little bit later on now. Um, the hair's gone fully up. I've had a bit of a break because my camera ran out of charge and I wanted to really film obviously me packing. So I had a bit of a bit break from a packing. I've just been on a TikTok live. So thank you if you was on that. Um, so I've just brought, I totally forgot, I've not packed the dress that I've got for Saturday night. So this is the dress that I've got for Saturday night. It's absolutely gorgeous. It's from River Island. I'm a sucker for a balloon sleeve. And then this is like tight fitting on your waist and then like flares out a little bit at the bottom and it's ribbed. And I love ribbed material. So I'm wearing this dress with tights and boots. So I need to pack that. And then I need to pack Jesse still his bag. Um, I just don't know where to start, guys. I just don't know where to start. I'm really looking forward to putting some makeup on um, with my new hair. With my new hair and with my new skin. Um, so obviously, you know, that I started the new skincare routine. Oh, still got my pyjamas to pack and everything. Wow. Uh, let me just set you up. Um, so yeah, obviously my skin is so much better now. Even after just a week of using it. I need to take the tag off this. Pull it off. <laughs> um, so I'm excited to see what makeup looks like. I'm going to do my makeup to... Oh, has this got a mark on it already? Shock. You can tell it's mine because I just get stuff down myself constantly. So I spoke to one of the girls that is going this weekend and they're taking a suitcase and a bag as well. So... I feel better now. Um, I just don't want everything to be too cramped. So I've got some tights that have got a ladder in at the top but you can't see them when I've got the dress on so I'm hoping it's okay. Um, so I'll pack those there. So there with that. 
and then pyjamas I've just got a nighty and some bottoms because I like variety you know I might be feeling a nighty that night I might be feeling bottoms that night so I thought I'd take both and then can't complain then can I? Well that's a bit that's like a bit overflowing hon let's have a look I think it should be all right let's have a look I think what I might do is because I'm, I'm taking two pairs of shoes I'm going traveling in my converse um, and I'm like wearing my boots Saturday night and obviously through the day so I'm going to put them in a bag because I think they might have some mud on the bottom and I might put them in this part of the suitcase here and then everything else, toiletry wise, can go in that bag. Hello, Jessie. So these are the boots that I'm taking. I got these, um, not of December, just gone December before. These are from Vagabond. I got them from Office. Um, but I think they're about £120, but honestly, they still look brand new. Um, I'm just going to give them a little bit of a wipe because I have got some mud on them. Um, but yeah they're amazing honestly definitely recommend if anyone's wanting some like i know we're coming to the end well we're coming to the end of winter no um i definitely recommend this brand of shoe um because they've lasted me really well they're really sturdy um so yeah these are the ones that i'm wearing this weekend with the dress and most likely with my blazer but then again i could wear converse as well i don't know i'm uh, not taking heels because no no go um i've never ever been able to last two minutes in heels um i remember my feet used to kill on nights out when i was younger when i used to go out um the only things i can like kind of wear is like heeled boots i can't remember the last time i wore actual heels so i'm just gonna give these a little bit of a wipe i'm literally just using a dental surface wipe uh, i pro pro probably use huggies actually some of jesse's wipes but i'm just gonna give them a little bit of a freshen up they weren't even that bad to be honest but it's a special occasion so why not so just because they've got a bit of mud on the ends I'm gonna pop them in this Tesco bag um, so it doesn't touch anything else and then we should be good to go really I'm gonna pop them in this suitcase and then use the other bag for toiletries so yeah not doing too bad really I'm, I think this is the first time I've ever packed to go somewhere and like I actually had set outfits for each day um, usually I just like tip packed my whole wardrobe and I just decide to wear it I just decide to I just decide what to wear on the day so this is everything that's packed so all my outfits are in here I'm just trying to think if I've got everything yeah I have um, pants, bras, shoes so I think this is done I'm pretty sure I've got everything let's hope so anyway I can't think of anything else that I'll need clothes wise my travelling outfit is already out um, and then I just need makeup and everything but obviously I can't pack that until tomorrow I have no idea what I'm doing with this camera guys I'm sorry so yeah I'm going to get this sipped up and then I think I'm going to crack on with packing Jesse's bag ready for tomorrow so he needs nappies, wipes, everything like that so I've got the bits together that I'm packing for Jesse tomorrow so he's got his changing mat, a blanket some ready made formula I always unpack just in case um, some muslins, nappy sacks, wipes, nappies, spare dummies, two vests just in case and an outfit just in case you need to change in as well. Um, oh I need his bottles as well but obviously we'll be using those so I'll clean those out tomorrow morning. Uh, so I'm putting all his milk and his bottles in this little Jesse bag that we got, I got him for Christmas and then I'm just going to pack everything else in the changing bag that I'd usually use. Obviously I'm not taking that to London or anything so everything can just go in there. from last clip I was packing Jesse's bag and I just started crying <laughs> I'm gonna miss him so much and I feel so bad for leaving him um, but I know it's gonna happen at some point and you know I'm looking forward to this weekend I really really am I can't wait but oh, I just really don't want to leave him I want him to come with me everywhere <laughs> I know he'll be fine because he'll be with Jimmy um, 
but obviously this is the first night away from them I've spent ever since we were like born. So I don't know. I'm definitely not doing my makeup first thing tomorrow morning. I'm going to wait until Jimmy's mum's coming to pick him up and then I'll do my makeup after because I guarantee I'm going to start crying because Jimmy's at work tomorrow morning. So I'll be on my own in the house <laughs> without little Jesse. And I'm going to miss him so much and I'm crying again because I'm going to miss him. Anyway, I need to stop thinking about it because I'm literally going to be back on Sunday night and it'll be fine. Um, <laughs> I still need to pack. It's half eight. Um, I need to get a shower, bath, um, do my skin. I'm pretty much packed to be honest. It's literally just the um, toiletries and stuff that I need. But Jess is all ready to go. Um, packed all these little bits in his nappy bag and then his bottles in here. I just need to get his like actual man bottles all clean and everything. This has got all my clothes in. This is going to have toiletries in. I've started a little bag over there already. That's my travelling outfit. Um, and that's pretty much it really. Um, Jess is getting picked up at 8 o'clock tomorrow morning and then um, I'm going to my mum's house for quarter past nine. Um, so I'm just going to get myself ready after Jess has left I think. Um, yeah so I'll probably get up about seven half seven depends what time Jess is up as well. Um, I'm going to try and get an early night though. We'll see. I say that all the time when I never do. So it's late, I wanted to be kind of done by this time but it doesn't matter. Um, so I'm going to get a shower now. I'm going to put my cleansing balm on before I get in the shower and I use my Temple Spa cleansing brush to work it in and then I'll leave it on whilst I get into the shower to let the steam open up my pores um, and let all the goodness go in. So I'm going to do that now, jump in the shower then I'll check back in once I've got out. Sorry about the lighting and I'm going to have to be quiet because Jess is in bed. But, um, I've cleansed, I've taken it off with a hot flannel and now I'm just going to be using Motion Reeling from Temple Spa. This is the um, thing I was on about earlier, the thing that pumps up on your, forms up on your face. It's got a glowing oxygen a glowing oxygen peel, it might not have acid in it actually, but I know it's a um, oxygen peel and it makes my skin super bright and glowy. So I thought I'd do this tonight. Um, just to have some nice skin this weekend. So, as you can see, if it focuses, it's bubbling up on my face. And then when the bubbles subs subside, subside, is that the word? Subside. Once bubbles subside, remove. <laughs> so obviously I won't be using my nighttime cleanser again. Um, so I'm gonna pack these now, just so I don't forget. So now to finish off with skincare, I'm not going to use any toner tonight because I've just used that peel. Um, so what am I doing? Serum. Doing my serum. I'm using the Caudalie Vinyl Perfect, Vino Perfect. Um, obviously I've mentioned this so many times but I've got all these product recommendations from Amelia Olivia on TikTok. If you don't follow her, oh guys you need to follow her. She's stunning for a start, but then she's got the most perfect skin you ever did see. Um, and she does the most amazing makeup. I only wish I could do makeup like her. Because it's just beautiful. She's, she does it in like the most natural way. Whereas sometimes if I do my makeup really natural, it just looks a bit weird. But, I don't know. She's like literally like a magician with makeup. And I'm gonna just pat this in. I'll be using this again in the morning, so I'm gonna leave this out on my desk here. I'm trying to keep stuff like stuff that's packed in the living room and then stuff that I need to pack in the morning in here so everything's all together because guaranteed I won't forget. I'm gonna use Windows of the Soul Temple Spa next. This is just a sample size because you girls on maternity paste. Next, I use the Caudalie Vino Vino Sauce Hydra. Um, I like this, but not gonna lie, I prefer my Temple Spa moisturizer um, I'm not gonna waste this though because it's nothing bad I'd still like it but if anyone's tried Temple Spa double cream wow that's just like unreal for your skin that's what I used to use as my nighttime moisturizer and um, so I won't probably I doubt I'd repurchase this again Um I'd prefer to just buy the Temple Spa double cream but obviously I'm gonna use that because there's nothing wrong with it I just my preference is I prefer the Temple Spa one so that's what I'll be getting next time and then to finish off, I'm just going to 
in fact no I'm not going to use this one in fact yeah I will I'm just going to use some lip defense temple spa this is so good makes you look like you had a little bit of a lip job because it makes them nice and shiny and plump so that's skincare done as you can see I've still got these bits here but doesn't matter um so I'm kind of all ready for tomorrow I think um I've got bits that I need to pack tomorrow in fact I can pack that now because that's just my night to take makeup off I need cotton pads this is the perfume I'm taking Lancome Lancome eye doll um I can that I'm using that in the morning using that in the morning using this in the morning I cut my eyelashes down earlier I didn't show you that though um straighteners I won't need my makeup's in here all ready to go but obviously I'm doing my makeup in the morning brush is all ready to go this is from my changing bag for Jessie so I don't need that so I think I'm ready to go um I'm really looking forward to it but I am really dreading leaving Jessie um I already know I'm gonna cry tomorrow morning for a fact but it's all part of the experience <laughs> and it's got to happen at some point so yeah um, I'll be fine like I'm looking forward to it but I'm just gonna be upset leaving him but everything's sorted now I've got case down here so I should be vlogging London all being well I am vlogging so um, I'm gonna try and get this up for tomorrow morning just because I'm going to try and edit it tonight and then get it up whilst I'm in London so there's a video for over the weekend um, and then London vlogs hopefully should be sometime next week when I've got a chance to edit them so I hope you've enjoyed this little get ready with me slash pack with me I've probably just spoke to you all majority of the time but I hope you've enjoyed it regardless um, and yeah I'll see you all in my next video or on Instagram or on TikTok so <laughs> bye